Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a watch up for review by a company called Castle Watch Company. They're out of the Bay Area in California, okay, San Francisco area, and was uh, started by two friends, okay. So this watch here is called the Corbell S12, okay. Um, this is a really, really cool watch. I mean, for what you get, this is this retails for $59. And for what you get for $59 is just amazing. Okay, you even get a signed crown, which is something that you can't even get on a Seiko for $1,000. So if you're looking for something new, exciting, um, something that not everybody has yet anyway, um, I would look into this company right here. And for $59, you will not be disappointed at all. Um, there's a bunch of different uh, color uh, configurations on their website, so you might want to check them out. I'll have a description in, or I'll have a uh, link to their website in the description. Um, but um, from what I can tell so far, the, this is high quality, um, especially for what what you're, you know, what you're spending for $59. I mean, you're getting quite a bit. Okay. Let me get the dimensions out of the way real quick. This is a 42 millimeter across. It's a 49 lug to lug. Okay. And it's a 22 millimeter lug opening and it's about 10 millimeters thick. Okay. So this is more of your uh, dressy, um, you know, casual type watch. Okay. Um, but it's it's now here's something else too for fifty nine dollars you get a sapphire crystal okay this is a sapphire crystal this one is the black dial version which has some it looks like it has some texture to it okay it says castle down there and then you have their castle logo up at the you know up at the top there okay um, this is a quartz movement it's running the Miyota quartz movement which is going to be extremely accurate. So you got a good movement, you got a sapphire crystal, it's a stainless steel case, okay? Um, signed crown, which, like I said, can't get that on a lot of brands that, you know, especially for 60 bucks, $59, guys, signed crown. Uh, on the case back here, it says uh, Japan Movement, Sapphire Crystal, 316 stainless steel, water resistance. So this is this watch has water resistance, okay? So that's awesome. Of course, it's not a dive watch, but you can, you know, if you ended up in the water or, you know, wash your hands, whatever, you're not going to have any issues at all. Um, very nice castle uh, uh, engraving here in the back. I really like that. So that's, you know, done very well. It has a um, screw down case back. Okay, a lot of of your lower cost watches will have um, like a snapback, so that's very nice. So, like I said, you're getting a lot for fifty nine dollars. Um, very nice leather uh, band. It's genuine leather, of course, and very soft. Okay, and it has the quick release, which you're seeing a lot on different uh, brands now. But you have that quick release to make strap changes very easy. Okay, very quick. And 22 millimeter lugs, I mean, psh, they're all over the place. You can find them just about anywhere. It has a signed uh, buckle, which is a nice touch. Okay. Got two keepers there. So this is a really, for, for $59, this is a very nice watch. This has no loom. Okay. Uh, no anti-reflective coating or anything. So it does, you know, if you can tell, it's really... Um, uh, you know, reflective. Okay. Um, but for $59 guys, this is a really good watch to look at. And if you look at the, the brushing, I mean, it's done very, very well. Okay. It looks like the whole case is pretty much brushed, which is, which is nice. And the crowns have some polishing. So it's not going to be a scratch magnet, you know, uh, which is good. But if you look at the the graininess of how they how they brushed it. I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's done very well, very, very well. So this is, like I said, $59 on their website. I'm going to put a link in the description. I believe they have a Kickstarter going on for a new model that's coming out soon. So you might want to look at that as well, but uh, this is a castle watch Corbell S 12. Please like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.